my poor shooting range is still completely devastated from uh, the 500 mag video, but this video is a little different. This is a 200 pound solid block of lead. Look at that thing. So I know it's, it's derpy looking. That's because <clears throat> I used a Chinese metal bucket for casting and it could not hold the weight of the American lead. So it kind of expanded out. But that's okay because I can pick it up, but it's heavy. When it's on the ground, 200 pounds just laying there, it's not easy to pick up. So I pick it up the tractor. We're going to drop it on this here microwave and laptop. i put it up as high as I can. Uh, just a quick little update video. I'm going to... I have... I made this for... It actually is it's going to be the perfect size for what I want. Because shortly here, you guys will see why this is going to work out perfect. I got a really cool video coming up. Uh, really cool, pretty expensive ammo. So we should hopefully... Hopefully it's awesome. And I was going to cut it in pieces to make make a couple different things. I got some really good ideas. I got some clay skulls that would make good castings. I don't know if they're strong enough to hold the weight of the lead before. I'm going to film with lead. And then the lead will dry. I'll break the clay. Have a lead skull. Which is going to be awesome. I don't... It's pretty, pretty thick, tough clay. I don't know if it's tough enough. Uh... It'd be pretty cool to do, but we will see. I would shoot it in a couple pieces with a 50 BMG. So this will be the last 200 pound block of lead because it is just unruly to, to maneuver transport. Make a couple 50 pounders or something. Unless you guys want to see like like a 400 pounder or something, that'd be kind of cool. That fucker, that'd be heavy. I mean, that thing, 200 pounds is 200 pounds, especially when it's dead weight Whew. but let me quit talking oh, let's see what a 200 pound block of lead does this